young Prince Thutmose took a nap in the shadow of the Sphinx's head, which seems to indicate that only the head was sticking up out of the ground. The Sphinx appears to him right at the zenith when the sun is at its highest point. And basically the Sphinx says, hey, I'm drowning in sand here. If you can dig me out, I will make you king of Egypt. So the king awakes, he excavated the Sphinx and became king. How do we know all this? Because he then took a block of granite, brought it down to the Sphinx, carved this story on it. The steel up process involved first doing restoration of the original plaster cast. This was joining fragments, correcting any earlier casting errors, and then creating a silicon mold of that plaster cast. We could then pour into the back of it casting resins, this, I'm using a urethane resin, and building up through multiple layers to create a depth of color that replicates a faux stone. What we're working on right now is mimicking pink granite, which is what the original steely is made of, but over time parts of it have been worn away and actually the cast we're working on right now has more preserved of the steely than the existing actual steely. The top part of the cast and the bottom part of the cast are going to stand about 8 feet tall and 7 feet wide, so it's definitely pretty impressive. This is a brand new form of casting for us, so it's been really fun to learn a new process. We're hoping to bring the physical object into the gallery, an augmented reality aspect to have an educational feature as well. And this will be useful for students, the visiting public, and try to bring it all back. <laughs> <laughs>